in the uh this no, one as well. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just just on the on the screen. Yep. Oh. I see. <laughs> cool. Alright. Time to set off. We've got Sheik versus Kirby in the grand finals. Lexi with the on the winner side and Joseph on the loser side. If we see, saw this matchup last week and uh, Joseph managed to kind of uh, <laughs> managed to win um, against Legacy, but now it's a very much a chance for. Oh, was it against Legacy? Uh, I forget. But Legacy has a good chance to knock uh, Joseph out of his uh, two win streak. Because if he don't wins today, I'll be three weeks in a row. I see all nope. Avon Guard here for Grimms. Yes. May as well. May come as well in, come in. At least one set. Oh, no. It's okay, I've only got one hand anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got game one Joey Legacy. Legacy and winners, Joey and losers. And pretty even game. Game yeah. one FD, original FD, as they always go. Yes. And both of these characters are kill percent right now. Um, Joey fishing for a needle oh. confirm, it looks like, or may maybe just to wall him out. Yeah, maybe just finding that opportunity to strike. Absolutely. Legacy not get Legacy getting the back air out of shield. Very good punish there. One hundred and one percent. Definitely, definitely still at kill percent. But if he can get a little bit extra damage here, that'd be really good. Yeah, every little bit counts. Yeah, especially against Joey Sheik. But he is gonna get the F smash, completely evening up the percents here. Joey's trying to play as evasive as he can because he doesn't want to get caught by Legacy, right? No. And so he can use Sheik's tools and Sheik's movement to be able to avoid Legacy until he feels like he's ready to uh, push his advantage, right? Yeah. Slowly rack up that damage so that it makes it easier to secure the kill. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier for Joey to be playing neutral than it is for Legacy, just because his character's way faster. Yeah, way faster, he's got the needles broken for spacing. Mm-hmm, yeah. But the thing about Legacy is he's really, really good at reading and at reading people and making up for his character's shortcomings just by being a good player, which is something you definitely have to be wary of when you fight him. So, Still pretty even. Joey with a slight lead at the moment. Um, very, very back and forth with our neutral interactions this game. As it often tends to be in game one with these guys. Yeah. Good dash attack coming out from Legacy. No ledge trap situation. Hasn't been getting a whole lot, lot off those. And Joey's going to kill him off at that time. Alright. Yeah. Managing to be the reverse of the first stuff with Joey with the lead now. Mm, yeah. So it's a good spot for Joey to be in. I mean, obviously not at the ledge, but like just percent-wise, because even though he can kind of die, but he he still has the uh, extra stock to play around with, which is nice. Which means he can just kind of hang back and make Legacy approach him, which is kind of really what you want to be doing in this matchup. All right, good grab coming out from Joey. Nice back here. Almost getting caught by that down there. Almost, but not quite. Down air is big, but it is also quite slow, so he kind of has to be really precise with it. Nice. Missing yet another ledge trap and getting dust attacked. This is a really good spot for Joey. Imagine. Just racking up the damage. Legacy struggling to kill, but the up throw will take it. 79% on Legacy right now. Definitely still doable. <laughs> We've seen Legacy come back from worse, yes. especially in this matchup. It's kind of like... Once you do get those hits on Sheik, then the you can kind of carry her for quite a while because she is a fast follower. And it is quite easy to combo with Kirby on the fast followers. I see. And uh, unlike uh, Kirby, Sheik needs to get them pretty high to get her confirms. Mm, absolutely. See, as. It as we just said, always completely evened it up. Both these characters have killed the set, and Joey's gonna take game one. Bouncing fish securing the first uh, game. Yeah, very good um, confirm there from Joey. <laughs> and 
and we are going to go to the Great Curve Offensive Omega and Omega form. <laughs> No music in this one, too, I don't think, unlike uh, last week's one. Not the modded switch with all the cool different soundtracks. Yeah. So they'll have to make do, which uh, might. I don't know, Kirby music goes hard. I think he'll be fine. Yeah. Honestly, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hyping each other up just before game two. Something about Kirby music. You just Kirby can't. music goes hard. Yeah. Especially since it's, you know, it's Kirby. It's not a very <laughs> serious game. And yet, the, the songs go so hard every single time. Yeah. All right. So many bangers. Joey got a pretty nice lead at the moment. Uh, just being able to hit, just being able to hit him over and over and over again. Kind of pressuring him into being off stage. Not quite getting anything. Trying to get the Vanish 2 frame, I think. Oh, it's a pretty safe to attempt. <laughs> Ooh, oh, not getting like that. the hammer, but <laughs> yeah. it's not gonna kill. Surpri he didn't fully charge it, so surprisingly weak. Missing the bouncing fish again. We've seen a lot. Of, we've seen a lot of those whipped bouncing fishes, but not really many punishes coming from Legacy. It is quite a hard move to punish. Yes, it's the sort of thing you just want to avoid. Oh, excellent vanish coming out from Joey, predicting that Legacy was going to try and jump forward at him and just covering that option spectacularly. Joey just advancing his lead as much as he can. Keeping. Already got, uh, already got him at 67, and going deep for that yes. edge guard, but just missing vanish. Nice back here, coming out from Legacy, stealing that stock, but managing to put on some damage to kind of keep keep his Ooh. lead a little bit. I say as uh, that was a good Legacy. reset. Yes. Oh, like, trying to go for the suck. I think he wanted the needles, or to just. Yeah. Legacy, yeah, no yeah. Legacy does enjoy his suck and cucks, as we can tell by his in game tag. <laughs> that does tend to be a favorite kind of option of his. Ooh, oh, good needles to up smash coming out from Joey. Looking pretty dominant for Joey at this point. Legacy definitely having to hang back for most of this uh, yeah. game so far. And just kind of take the damage where he can. And, uh, mm. But. Joey is looking pretty dominant though. Good dash attack. Forward air coming out from Legacy, sending Joey off stage again. Most of this matchup, I feel, is more about the play around the ledge. You don't really see a lot of them. You don't really see them fighting on center stage as much. Yeah. You kind of really see them kind of pushing each other to the ledge and trying to ledge trap. Yeah, and keep uh, keep that pressure on in order to. Ooh. Oh, make use of it. Oh! What a good needles to Bouncing Fish. Joey with the dominant two stock coming out for game two. We could see a reset. Yes. Which makes me have to stay here for another best of five set. <laughs> and I was saying like, earlier. I, I, I uh, DQ'd off to winners round one. I've been willing to go for like three hours. <laughs> I've been like half asleep as well. Uh, managed to play through like uh, redemptions and quickly lose for all of it. So I've just been on my phone. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, I was on my phone so much it died. So. Yeah, I. Uh, we should have played more friendlies, but I think they were still going for all the redemptions and stuff like that. But that's all right. Yeah, fair enough. All right, Jelly again with his nice little lead, but Legacy does get them the down for go. And he's got him off stage. Ooh. Nice little nice little bits of damage coming out here. Good down air from Joey, but he's gonna get jabbed for it. And like you were saying last game, it's all about like uh, that It's all about ledge. forcing them to the ledge and kind of dealing with their options there as opposed to fighting for center stage. You're either at one side of the stage or you're at the other side of the stage in this matchup. Trying to get the bouncing fish. Gets grabbed from gets grabbed from ledge. Very good. 
not quite at percentage to try kill with the up, up throw. Right, good, good F tilt. And now Legacy's off stage again. Ooh, good needles oh. to bouncing fish again. That is catching Legacy off guard a lot this set. Yeah. Joe is just really, really consistent at getting his sheet kill confirms, which you really need to be when if when you play this character. Yeah, she struggles to kill otherwise. Yeah, absolutely. You just need to know how to kill. But that was good. Getting some good damage here. Forty-eight yeah, percent. Good dash attack. Not quite gonna take it. Yeah. As you can see, uh, Legacy is just kind of trying to throw out aerials at this point. Try and see. If we Try and see if he can actually kill Joey because he really does not want to be getting any more percent on him before he kills them. Yeah. And good, good back it, good back throw. Yeah, he's gonna get needles to up smash there. Gonna take the stock quite early. That up smash is very strong. Yeah, what, what was it? Does that like a hundred? Uh, I think he was a hundred. I think he, I think he died at ninety three. Wow. Yeah. And this is FD, so it's like. A pretty sizable ceiling as well, so... Yeah, yeah. The, the size of it doesn't matter for, if it's a Mega, right? Like, uh, uh, I, I mean, same. like, uh, it's the same as normal FD, Yeah, yeah, that's right? what I mean. Like, yeah. I, I wasn't too sure. I, I haven't yeah, actually played on any Mega stage. Oh, oh! Vanish? Not quite gonna kill. But he's in a really bad position now. Good F tilt. Trying to, just trying to get him off him as much as possible, but Joey is not letting up the pressure. Yeah. If we do see the reset, I am very curious to see what Legacy will be doing to adapt to yeah. Joey because this definitely seems like Joey's game at the moment. Legacy's at kill percent, trying to throw out the F smash in a vein of in, in, um, hopes of trying to catch Joey, but yeah. just needs to get all one good hit in and take the stock so he can start turning yeah. it around. Yeah, I think he needs. I think he's looking for the back air right now. But he's gonna get up. He's gonna get up in, and that's gonna be a three-year and a reset. Okay, cool. Good to know. Do you want me to start a new set for this one? No, no, no. Keep it on the same thing. All right. All right. We are going to our reset. So that means bringing you back to the start of stages, a chance for both of them to kind of pick new characters and uh, get things going. You I don't think we'll be seeing new characters from either of these players. I feel like both of them are very confident in their characters, at least in this matchup. Yes. And I am very curious to see what kind of new adaptations that uh, Legacy is going to be implementing. Hopefully it comes out fast enough to uh, secure himself an early lead and get back that uh, momentum that he's lost. Yeah, right now it's all been Joey's game, but it looks like he has kind of turned the momentum over at least a little bit. Good lead coming out from Legacy. Yeah. Alright. On ledge again, not quite getting a ledge trap situation there. Joey able to escape his pressure. Sent back to ledge again. I really like how uh, Joey's been using the side B to cover uh, Legacy's attempts at uh, ledge trapping him. Yeah. Or not quite getting the sweet spot of the back air, but he's gonna get the spot dodge down smash. 55% on Legacy right now, so pretty sizable lead. Yes, which he definitely needs after having uh, having struggled in the last yes, few Yes, he, re he really does need some kind of momentum shift at this point and I think he's going to get it Ooh, not quite getting the second forward air off the forward through and gonna get F smashed there Legacy's definitely made some kind of adaptation to the way that Joey's been trying to edge guard him but, um, but he is gonna get needles to up smash Joseph. again yeah. <laughs> managing to even and out back to uh, a fairly even game Fairly even game. Legacy still with the slight lead. Yes. And he's gonna get he's gonna get back in there and immediately sent all the way to the other side of the stage. Oh. Another bouncing fish to get some damage in. Yeah, you just want to get that reliable damage. 
And like you said, using that side view to kind of just stay on ledge and force uh, Legacy to approach. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that Legacy can kind of do about it except for f because it forces shield. And that means that like uh, that means that Joey can kind of use that to be... Oh, oh, what a good spike coming out from Joey there. Was not expecting that to be and Neither was I. That was really good. Joey immediately is cementing himself in the lead again. Yeah. It's nice that there's only a hand to watch out here that you have to worry about. And like, it's nice that there are more characters that... Good forward air coming out from Legacy. Is he going to be able to catch the landing? Yes, with the dash down. Keeping it off the ledge. Alright, are we going to... Ooh, trying to get the down smash. Potentially trying to get a neutral get up, but I think he was a bit late on that one. Yeah. Ooh, good needles. Getting the F tilt. Sending him off stage. See ya. Ooh. See, see what I said there? Yeah. Like, uh, he, he's forcing the shields, and I think the only thing that Legacy can really do is parry. Ooh, some bad DI there on the forward, on the forward air, killing him way earlier than it should have. Yeah. And like you're saying, by putting that pressure in the shield, Joseph just, just has too much uh, ability to get back on stage, or at least put some pressure in Legacy. Yeah. But, that being said, Legacy is uh, putting some pressure back on him. An immediate, pretty much evening up the game so far. Ooh. Joey's kind of catching him off guard with these uh, just down airs on his shield because he's expecting Legacy to drop the shield and most of the time he is. Yeah. So it's been, re it's been really good to kind of see that. Force. Joey's got some really good shield pressure. Yeah. Force him to hold it longer so that he can make it, take advantage of it. Mm, absolutely. Last hit right now. Can both these characters have kill percent. It just comes Very down. scary for both of them. Joey hanging back with his needles. Smart play. Alright. He's gonna be trying to buy some Ooh. time on the ledge. Trying to get the back air on the roll get up again, but not quite getting it this time. Good forward air to catch out the jump, and he's... Ooh. Oh, good grab. Good grab, nice down throw, getting more percent. Getting closer and closer to that help throw kill. Oh. oh, trying to get the read, but not quite. Excellent forward air, not quite killing because it is a bit stale. And are we gonna see the... I'm trying to go for that needle confirm. Yeah, um, I, I think that it's a bit high percent for him to actually be doing that. I think he's gonna kind of have to read it at this point. I think, I think forward tilt from Legacy is gonna take this. Yep. There it is. Oh, oh not almost. quite. Oh, good up through. Game one of the reset is gonna go to Legacy. Hit the button. Can you fix that rock and put it back in my belt? I missed the, the end there. Oh, he uh, got an, uh, Legacy got an up through. Oh, nice. I was, gonna, I was saying earlier, like, uh, each bit of damage before I'm close to that. Alright. Lacey starting off the the run back with a victory. Going to a mega form on it. Joey's personal favorite. Trying to go for that uh, up beer, just trying to send him off stage, I believe. But um, got quite a good lead coming out from Legacy right now. Got Joey at 86%. Just being able to hit him over and over. Gonna get the back throw to send him off stage again. We could see a kill here. Ooh, trying to get the down air, not oh. quite, but he is gonna get the up beer back on stage. Managing to. <laughs> Whoop, Joey's trying to Joey's trying to answer back. Already got fifty three percent on him. Yeah, can't count either of these players out at any point. They've Absolutely. got so many close games. Yes, they're so good at just gaining momentum, taking an inch, and running a mile with it. Ooh, oh. excellent job, Preed, coming out from Joey with the max rage, able to just steal that kill away from him. Yeah, Steal that stock away from Legacy. Especially since he just floated a little too close to the black zone. Yes, but good back air. That being said, good back air out of shield, absolutely. 
And immediately eating up the game yet again. Yeah, neither one of them can let down for a moment, otherwise the other just takes takes that advantage. Absolutely. And, and like I said, those, uh, those downers be catching Legacy off guard again. Mm. Ooh, trying to go for the jump rate again, but Legacy's not going to fall for it this time. It's good to see the adaptations. I, I really like the way the Legacy waited there, because Joey was going to try and go for the Vanish, and he knew that. Yes. And so being able to kind of wait as much as you can Ooh. to avoid uh, to avoid getting that early kill. And even managing to get a cheeky bit of damage with the up B there. Yeah. Because he waited so long. Yes, very, very good play from Legacy, especially and when he got, when he's going to get the Feta F smash. That kills so early. And it doesn't it, it doesn't look like it should be true, but it is. Is that? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's a true combo. Ooh, good vanish coming out from Joey. Last stock, even percent. Last stock, even percent, yet again. Position we've been in multiple times during this set and the last one. Good air dodge coming out from Legacy. And are we gonna see anything? We are, we're gonna see a little bit of a little bit of damage, but it is Joey's turn again. Yes. Getting some nice back airs, trying to get the vanish kill again, but not quite this time. Or it, yeah, I don't know if it would have killed then, but it would have at least put in quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Joey's playing so patiently, just waiting for Legacy. Does just trying to just trying to punish his options as much as he can. Does with the up smash lead, uh, with, uh, read words, but uh, no punish me to side afterwards. Ooh, not quite. Bouncing fish is kind of weak with that rage. Good nair coming out from Legacy in the back air. Joey's off stage now. We're trying to get the two frame, but he did come from above, so he wasn't able to get actually two frame that there. Whoop. This is really close again. Yes. Good forward air. He's just got him. Oh, what a read coming out. Game two going to Legacy. Man, you get that. Up smash? Was it? <laughs> yeah, that was an up smash. Yeah. Covering the roll. I thought you were going to read that, so I went for a roll. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I guess we went to the right. We both went for the option, but I don't know why. Like Alright. Oh, well. I'm bringing a legacy to a match point. Yes, we. This is Joey's tournament game right now. We could be seeing a quick 3-0 from both sides. <laughs> All right. Well, immediately starting off with a combo from Legacy. Nice, the nice 45% coming out. Joey's going to retaliate with some jabs. Not actually getting anything off that though. Good down and start off the string, but Legacy managing to kind of get that damage back. Well, trying to go for the suck. I don't know if he was trying to get the needles, or if he was trying to suck him off, or if he was trying to spin him off stage for some positioning. But Legacy mashing a little bit with the S smashes. <laughs> oh. Trade, kind of sending them both flying. Trade, very good for Legacy though, because now he's got Joey off stage, and now he can kill Joey, potentially. Potentially? No, Joey's just gonna play as patient as he can, just being able to avoid any hitboxes that uh, Legacy throws out, and kill him for it as well. Good, good confirm to his up there. Yeah. Joey's just so consistent at getting these kills. Yeah, as soon it's as very, he... very hard to play against him. Yeah. If you give him that opportunity, he'll take it. Yeah. I mean, same with Legacy, though. He he saw the opportunity for the back air, and he took it. I managed to even out the stocks before uh, jo Joseph could put too much damage on. But... Ooh. Good spot dodge. Ooh, trying to uh, read his get up, uh, trying to read his tech, and um, not quite getting that there. 
Joey just hanging back, using his needles to the best of his ability, kind of camping him out a little bit. But, I mean, that's kind of what you have to do against Kirby. You really don't want Kirby to be in your face, because that's when he's good, and that's no fun. Yeah. And As someone who often plays against Legacy. <laughs> I yeah, well, she tends to be that sort of more patient style, where yeah. once you can get things rolling, you take that, like... Yeah. And run with it, and then you wait for your next chance. Mm. Absolutely. This is a very even game again until Joey gets yet another vanish kill. On 80%, not quite kill percent yet. Uh, definitely gonna need to get maybe more, maybe like 15 more percent on him before he's gonna think about getting a kill there. But jo but Joey's gonna use this opportunity to get some more damage on. Let's take that. Oh, ooh, oh, good spit. Trying to get more damage and uh, ooh, good roll read. Getting the up angled F tilt. Just the patience from both of these players is very, very good to good to see. Yeah, both from not wanting to overextend and throw throw away their chances. That was a good up air from Legacy. Just being able to catch Joey being above him there. Being above Kirby is pretty scary because that up air has a surprising amount of kill power for what it is, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Legacy trying to go for the early kill there. I know what he was doing. Yeah. Manages to Ooh, not quite, but he's not going to get the pun. He's not going to get punished for F smashing like that. Oh, he, oh, he's trying to, he's feeling himself. He, he's trying to go for something silly here. Neither legacy def, legacy at kill percent for needles to up smash, but he, but uh, Joey, I think will die to a back air. Getting him up off stage yet again. Whoop. Joey just playing so evasive right now and just avoiding the ball of death that is Kirby. Yeah. Just needs one good hit at this yes. point. Yes, both of them need one good hit. Like if Joey gets like a Needles Bouncing Fish or if Legacy gets a Nair off, I uh, guess a Nair or a Back Air or even a Forward Air. Ooh, Ooh, not quite killing. Bouncing Fish, definitely not that strong, but he is going to get the Nair, and that is going to be a 3 0 to Legacy in the reset. Bring it. And that is the tournament! Cool. Uh, I